Okay, hey guys. Um, I haven't been able to do a garden update per se um, for a few weeks. Serena, keep it down. Um, the heat has been extraordinarily hot, and I didn't have much to show you. Hey, bring me my um, my vegetables that I pulled yesterday. Although I do have a few things that I will show you. Um, my first planting of tomatoes, they're about fizzled out. Um, something happened to my peppers, and they kind of uh, went crazy on me and looked weird. But one small bed of banana peppers and stuff, they may put out a couple, few or three. Um, I'm about to figure out something for next year, if you don't stop. Um, but one thing I did get yesterday, I, I was very proud of this. this is, these are my pimento peppers. Um, I have some more growing, um, but don't they look pretty? And I have this one, and they're also, you know, they're very, whoa, too close. They're a very good size, um, pretty good size. My, I have really large hands. I wear a size 10 and a half, 11 wedding band, so I have a very large hands. Um, and these are my little first peppers that I've been able to pick this year. I don't know what I'm going to do with them yet. Um, maybe a stir fry and if you remember how my tomatoes were all very very small um, they are now getting a little larger that's not too bad um, they're getting larger so the ones that are have come on and set fruit later on they're getting a little bit larger um, most of the ones I have left out there now are about this size um, or a little bigger um, so that I'm, I'm hoping that the second setting I put out, like my backups through fall, because my um, spring tomatoes are almost finished, I'm hoping that they will put out nice, nicer slicing size tomatoes. Um, although these little cherry type size, they're not a cherry tomato. Um, it's just been the weather here in Alabama um, that has caused this type, this size of tomato. This is a regular tomato. Um, but almost every one of my uh, pickings have been this small. Like I said, they're just now getting to um, a regular, more more regular tomato size. Um, so I'm hoping the ones that I planted um, for fall tomatoes, um, I hope, I'm hoping they'll put out um, larger tomatoes. Um, hopefully I can do another video soon um, on my tomatoes. Let me see if I can sit up a little bit. I'm getting a little uncomfortable. Um, mostly what I wanted to talk about today um, let's see. Okay, I don't know if you remember the soil cube makers. Um, at the time, I loved the idea. The problem is, I haven't found the right soil texture. Um, what happened is, the soil that I used was packed so hard, um, that the plant roots had nowhere to go. So, it didn't quite work out. Pardon me, my allergies didn't quite work out the way it was intended. Now, I'm sure if I modified it or if I researched and got the right soil mixture, um, I'm sure that it would work a lot better. Um, I'm just not sure if it's worth the time, if I can just take a Dixie cup or, you know, the little small, um, I guess they call them little bathroom swisher cups, um, and start my seeds and then move up Dixie cup and then move up to plant potted plant things. So I'm not quite sure that um, the soil cubes will be worth my time and my effort. If somebody out there has the perfect mixture and the seeds can actually expand and grow, let me know and I'll try it. Um, so yeah, that's something I've learned. Um, my soil cubes were just uh, a little too, not airy enough. The soil wasn't airy enough. Uh, let's see, something else I've learned. Um, that I've done wrong this year. Uh, planting seeds and seedlings at the wrong time. Um, I just basically looked at the back of my seed container. Um, and if it said March through June, I just, you know, any day of the month, any day of that time frame, I planted. One thing I'm thinking that I'll do next time, because uh, I had some luck, some luck I did not have on some things. So one thing that I will definitely do next year is um, I'm going to follow the farmer's almanac um, with my planting. Um, 
all the old time farmers have told me, you know, follow the planting of the moon. So that's one thing I'm going to do next year. Uh, another thing I've learned that I did wrong this year, I planted, I, I li our, we live on a slope. I planted down the slope. I should have planted parallel, is that the right way? You know, the slope goes down, I should have planted left or right against it, and I would have had a lot less water loss. Um, I believe my plants would have done better. Um, another thing I did wrong, this is going to be a lot of things I did wrong um, that I'm going to try to change next year. Next year I will be planting opposite the slope. Um, I uh, didn't really pay attention to the needs of my plants um, all the time. Like, um, and I did. I didn't take into account that the sun levels will vary in spots throughout the whole from spring to fall. So what was very sunny early spring is now more shaded. Um, you know, due to the foliage and um, things like that. So I'm going to have to um, pay closer attention to the surroundings next year. Um, planting um, things too close. Um, trying to do too much in too little space. Um, that was caused me a lot of trouble this year in a lot of things. Um, so next year, I'm, I'm really hoping to um, study up and maybe do companion planting. I know I've mentioned to some people um, the method, um, the Three Sisters method. Um, so I really hope to try to do that. That's where you plant on a mound of soil. You plant your corn, you know, three, four stalks of corn up top. Then around the middle of the uh, hill, you plant like pole beans. And the corn supplies a trellis, you know, a growing mechanism for the beans and the beans take nitrogen out of the air and feed the nitrogen to the soil and therefore the corn has soil. And then on the base of the mound you plant your squash. The squash is a living mulch. It keeps in the moisture. So um, that's one method I would like to try next year. Um, uh, let's see. Um, I'm going to probably look into things that don't necessarily need a lot of pollination. Um, there are not a lot of bees. Like We have a lot of uh, like uh, bumblebees um, and wasp and stuff, but no honeybees. So that's a big problem here. Um, so I'm going to try to look into things that do not need so much um, pollination. Um, let's see. Uh, mulching oh man I lost so much water to evaporation um, and I don't have well water we have to pay for city water I don't like watering with chlorinated water but it's all I have because um, you know it's just it's what I have right now so that's what I use sometimes I try to let the uh, kitty pool fill up with um, rain water or I let the uh, tap water that the girls have swam in sit for a few days and I'll try to use that um, but carrying buckets of water is not fun, so mostly I just use the, uh, the faucet and the water hose. I uh, learned that um, I messed up by when watering um, using a sprinkler. Um, a lot of plants um, are sensitive to getting their leaves wet, so I lost a lot of things. I don't... Um, there are some things you can do with sprinkler, but I think next year I'm going to try to gravitate gravitate towards um, like drip systems um, or soaker hoses and um, go that route instead of having to try to do this hole above ground. And um, along with that, um, Serena, stop. I'm going to. Um, I need to find out how to organically. Um, organically, organ yeah, my tongue's getting twisted. Um, take care of um, plant problems such as um, the moldy, mildewy look on cantaloupe, on um, cucumbers, my leaves, um, the uh, spotty foliage that I had on my peppers. Um, there's things that I need to learn so that I know how to take care of those problems next year. I don't like to use pesticides, 
I don't like to use things that I think can harm my children because they do go out to the garden and they do um, pick straight out of the garden and eat and they're not diligent about washing everything they eat their kids and if they want a tomato they get a tomato if they want a cucumber they get a cucumber so I don't like using pesticides or um, anything of that nature so I'm gonna have to figure out a way to care for my plants next year um, one thing, another thing, uh, big, big mistake I made early on in the spring, um, not labeling seeds. Uh, I didn't know how much, um, cantaloupe I transplanted, I didn't know how much cucumbers I transplanted, I didn't know what anything was. I didn't know if it was a watermelon, I didn't know if it was a pumpkin, I didn't know. So... Labels are a definite must do. Um, and I'm thinking, I guess I'll end this with one of the last things um, that I learned the hard way. Ants will destroy your vining vegetables. Um, our pumpkins were looking, finally starting to look great. And I noticed that, and same with my cantaloupe and my uh, uh cucumbers um, I noticed that the uh, right at the right at the ground level the stems were like uh, flaking and tearing apart and I checked and ants had tunneled tunneled their way up eating the uh, flesh out of the stem so I did spray for ants um, all on the ground and then they're gone from the area but it's just too late um, I didn't realize it, and so pretty much a failure with that because even the cantaloupe that are growing now, it's so hot, and the uh, leaf disease is taking over, and what that didn't take out, the ants did, so, um, you know, I did a lot of things wrong, but it's my first year, and I've learned a lot, and I'm sure next year I'm going to do a lot of things wrong. But I'll say it's only my second year and I'll learn again. And I'm sure that every year I'll do something wrong. Eventually I'll get things right um, to the point where I'm getting more pr produce and having a more productive garden. Um, so anyways, that's my video on um, what I've realized that I've done wrong this year. I'm sure there are tons more things. Um, I've got a lot of other plans um, starting this fall that I'm going to start doing to prepare for next year. Um, I've been researching the lasagna method, um, so I'm thinking of go ahead and setting up some ground um, with cardboard and um, organic matter and stuff and trying to uh, build up the soil some where I plant because this soil is awful. And it's too expensive to go out and buy bags and bags and bags and bags of soil to fill in a raised bed. It's just not cost effective for me considering that I possibly will not be on this property the following summer. So I'm thinking of doing the lasagna method because it's just yard garbage. You know, house food scraps and things like that. Um, oh, and I'm also wanting to... Uh, I'm going to try to be building a little storm, not a storm, shelter. My mind's on storm shelters for some reason. Um, a small shed um, with shelving and trying to build some of the lights like Praxis um, built on his channel. Uh, Ray Browning. Um, and I want to start my seeds earlier this year instead of getting such a late start. And that way when I transplant, I have good healthy plants um, going in the ground instead of kind of... Um, Oh, well, we'll see if it'll take or not. So I want to start out with good, healthy plants, good, strong root systems. And um, so I want to start my vegetables and my flowers as well earlier. So I need to build a small little shelter of some sort. Uh, let's see, what else? Um, I guess that's it. You know, those are the things that I know. Girls. Girls. Serena. Serena. They're playing. Um, those are the things that I know that I've done wrong. Um, I'm sure that there are things that I've not noticed that I've done wrong. Um, trial and error. 
um, it's the only way to go. So anyways, I'm sorry for the lack of an update. I will leave you with a shot of my so very pretty peppers. These are the pimentos. Um, I will say these seeds. Um, I don't know what I'm going to do with these. Anybody got any ideas on, other than pimento cheese, what to do with pimento peppers? Can you use them in a stir fry or, you know, something like that? They're very pretty. I wish you could actually see them in person. Anyways, um, I'm definitely saving the seeds from these because they're very nice and I won't have to buy the plants next year. Um, and I've enjoyed growing them because they're so pretty on the vine, on the plant. Um, anyways, uh, that's it. Um, it's July 30th. Um, fall is around the corner. Thank goodness. Um, because it is so very, very hot. And, um, I can get started on next year. Um, anyways, uh, that's it. I'm sorry I haven't done a garden update. We've been very busy. Uh, state convention with our church, the Church of God Prophecy. I'm here in Alabama, and our church worship team that my husband and I are part of was on program um, to lead worship. I'm very proud of our church worship team and our brass and woodwind ensemble that we have. They are awesome. They did a great job. Um, it's a pleasure to be a part of um, such a great team. Um, as well as I had family come in and they stayed five days and with the disease that I have I'm just beyond exhausted um, because I've had so much going on so I'm having to really pace myself and my garden has kind of gotten neglected which it's okay it's kind of the end of the season so for the ones that are the most neglected anyway um, so I apologize again for not having um, garden updates for the last I guess month maybe um, maybe this coming week I'll get out there once I get things cleaned up and show you what I plan on doing next year anyways have a great day sorry the video is so long um, just have a great day happy gardening happy planning for your next season and I hope things are growing great for you and that um, the weather in your area is perfect for your growing needs have a great day. God bless you, and um, may he provide all your needs. Catch you guys later. Bye.